I heard if you guys drop a like on this video and subscribe in the next five seconds, you're gonna have amazing luck and drop a nuke in one of your next games. All right, guys, today we are gonna be looking at the top five most overpowered class apps. And I got these classes for you guys. I'm gonna tell you right now, if this video is gonna be an absolute order from what I believe is the worst to the best, but even the worst one is in the top five. So you guys gotta realize it's still really good. Now I'm gonna say one thing also, I'm just gonna kind of go over this quickly. I'm gonna talk about my perks fast, just really overall right now quickly so I don't have to do it again later on in the video. I can just do it now quickly. So first off, we've got sock gloves, covert sneakers, ghost TV camo, and black light flashlight. If I don't have the, uh, the uh, demolition vest, we don't have this. So it's just gonna be these three. These are the three most important ones and the ones that I like the most to use on every single class. Now the first weapon on this list that I think does deserve a spot is the MTZ. It's in the number five spot because it's not one of those guns that is going to be really, really good in every single situation, but it is a gun that's insane at long range. It's insane at mid range. And if you're decent at close range, it'll be pretty, really good as well. So let's get into this class setup. The first thing you're gonna wanna run on this one is the Zemin 35 Compensated Flash Hider for the muzzle. It's just good overall. You're gonna get some sort of recoil control. You're gonna get less radar ping. It's not, your red dot's not gonna last as long on the radar and stuff. It's just really good for that. After that, we need some sort of speed on this gun. So we're gonna go to the under barrel and that is going to be the DR6 hand stop. And this one right here, is really good because well you get some sort of speed with it you get sprint to fire speed with it movement speed with it and all that kind of stuff and it's not taking away any recoil control anything like that so it's really good to have as well and then we got the 50 round drum which i think is really nice on this gun it, it might make the gun a bit slower but there's no 40 round mag or anything so we gotta run the 50 round drum 30 is just not enough and this gun does shoot pretty fast at 810 rounds per minute so 30 rounds is just not going to cut it you're going to definitely want to have this for the optic I'm going to go ahead and run the Morris dot sight. I know a lot of people like the slate reflector. A lot of people like the jack uh, optic and so the glass list right here. A lot of people like that kind of stuff. So you could pretty much go ahead and run what you want for that. But I like the Morris dot sight. So I'm running that right there. And then finally for the stock, the MTZ Marauder stock is going to give you guys gun kick control and recoil control. And I'm telling you, if you're using this class online, guys, this gun has absolutely no recoil. You're going to feel like you're cheating. You're going to feel like a hacker and it's just good overall. Now moving on to the number four spot on this list we're going to talk about the fjx horus all right this is a gun that it might look like it's only good up close it might feel like it only does good up close but it actually does good at mid-range as well it does decent at long range it's actually not a bad weapon to use so this is one of my guns that i love to use for running and gunning like just pure chicken no head type of play style and it just does good for that right there so the first one's going to be the zemin 35 compensated flash hider for the muzzle overall again guys you're just getting that vertical recoil you're getting that horizontal recoil all that kind of stuff and it's just really nice for that and then we're going to go over to the barrel and the barrel is going to be the sign nine long barrel or the sin nine whatever you want to call it this one, um, you're going to lose some sprint to fire. You're going to lose a, a little stuff that kind of sucks, but you're getting bullet velocity and range. That's what's going to make this gun better at longer distance. You're getting firing aim stability and aim idle sway. So this is actually really nice. This gun's going to feel pretty straight on. Once you actually aim on sight, it's not going to be bobbing all over the place. It's just good to have that attachment. The under barrel is going to be the Chimera Ryan 03 vertical grip. This one's great because you're getting even more gun kick control, vertical recoil control. Just overall, you're getting a lot of recoil control with that, and it's nice. You're losing some 80 Yes, but guys, this is one of the smallest guns in the game. It already ADS is so fast. I wouldn't worry about that. Now, one thing you got to throw on again for this one, just like the MTZ, is something for the magazine. And this is going to be 48 round mags. Guys, this shoots at almost a thousand rounds per minute. This is fast, all right? And this is a gun that like... You don't want 30, you don't want anything like that, you don't want 25, you also don't want the 60 round drum because it's just a little too heavy at that point, but 48 round mags, I recommend that, it's it's going to be good, you won't waste all your time reloading and stuff, it's just nice to have overall. Then the final attachment is going to be the stock, and that's the Ripper light stock, this one's great because you're getting movement speed, you're getting sprint to fire speed, you're getting just a lot of stuff in terms of mobility, and you're only losing like 4% recoil gun kick control, which is not much at all, you're not losing horizontal or vertical, nothing like that, just the gun kick, and then pretty much this class is fast this class is good at close it's good at mid it's decent at long range and that's why it's in the number four spot because it's not the best at long range but it's really really good and i feel like a lot of people are sleeping on the fjx horse so definitely go ahead and throw this one on in the number three spot 
I'm going to go ahead and throw on the static HV. Now, why isn't the static HV in the number one spot? Or why isn't it in the number two spot? Well, that's because the guns that I put in those positions, I think are actually better than this one right here. But the static man, yo, this is a really nice SMG. All right, the first attachment we're going to throw on it is the Sonic Suppressor S. And this is going to be for the muzzle. You're going to be undetectable by radar. You're going to get damage range, bullet velocity, all that kind of nice stuff. And this gun's really good close along mid. It's really good at pretty much everything. The next attachment is going to be the Garrett 8 long barrel. This is going to give guys bullet velocity and range at 25%. Literally everything. The range is insane with that. Like it's so nice and it's barely taking away any anything. Like you're losing a bit of mobility, but you're not losing ADS. You're not losing sprint to fire. It's really nice to have. And speaking of ADS and sprint to fire, we're going to go to the under barrel and throw on the DR6 handstop. This is going to give you guys sprint to fire. It's going to give you movement speed. It's going to give you aim walking speed. It's going to give you ADS. That's really nice to have as well. And then finally for the rear grip, or not finally, there's actually two more attachments on this one my bad the rear grip is going to be the sk24 grip this is going to give you guys gun kick control and recoil control it's a little bit needed on this class because we've been using a lot of stuff for speed and a lot of stuff like that so you kind of want to have some sort of recoil control and that's going to give it to you right there and then the stock is going to be the sl tech hive v.4 stock it's quite a name but it is what it is this one's going to give you hip fire and tax stand spread but it's also going to give you sprint to fire speed and that's the reason i'm running this one i'm only basically using it because the sprint to fire gives you 16 percent which in my opinion is definitely worth having on this class right here. So that's it. Now, like I said, number two and number one are going to be the guns that I think are absolutely the best. And the first one is going to be the STG 44. So you're probably wondering why isn't that at the number one spot? Well, it's number two guys. It's going to be the first one I talk about right now. It's the number two weapon. And that is the STG 44. The number one is one of the guns like everyone just started using again it's so good it's it's you it's never been slept on everybody loves it but you'll see when we get to it the first attachment on this one again is going to be the zemin 35 compensated for the muzzle because you just yeah you just want that horizontal and that vertical recoil it gives you a nice amount of that so it's really nice the barrel on this one is going to be the Bruin A Crux, a crew, a Crux, I'm not sure, the heavy barrel. This one's going to give you bullet velocity, it's going to give you damage range, and it's just going to really overall be a really nice steady gun at all those ranges, all right? And you're also getting like pretty decent, my bad, my bad, my bad. I was going to say something else. You also get pretty decent recoil control with this one. So it's actually kind of nice. I was going to say ADS and sprint to fire. You actually don't get ADS and sprint to fire with that, but you do get a nice amount of recoil control. The next attachment is going to be the f tac Ripper, and this is for the underbarrel. You're going to get some hip fire accuracy, some recoil control again, and all that kind of stuff. This one, you're losing 10 ADS, but overall, it's just really nice for this gun to be steady. And this gun's good at close, it's good at mid, and it's really nice at long range. So definitely throw on those attachments. Now, you could throw on a magazine if you want more rounds. You could throw on the 40 round mags. I just don't feel like using it. So instead, I, I, I opted for an optic. That's hard to say. Say that 10 times. That's so hard to say. I opted for an optic. And this one right here, I'm going to use the Morse dot site. It's just small. It's clean. I like it for that. But you guys can run, like I said, the magazine or any optic you want. And it'll still be really good. Now, the final attachment on this one is the Citadel Drift. And this one's going to be for recoil control and gun kick control. And the best part of this one is that that's all it gives you. There's no cons. It gives you 10% recoil gun kick 10 horizontal 10 percent vertical no cons whatsoever so that's really nice to have and finally the number one spot the number one gun that i think deserves the number one spot on this video is the mcw this gun is insane close it's insane at mid it's insane at long range and i haven't used the mcw in a long time i recently started using it again and i don't know why i stopped i use the stg like a lot i got like hundreds and hundreds of kills with it already then I went back to the MCW. The MCW is just better. I'm going to say it. It's just better, all right? The first one is going to be the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor for the muzzle. For bullet velocity and range, you're getting recoil control and you're undetectable by the radar, which is really nice. Then we got the barrel, which is going to be the second line Mammoth Heavy Barrel. I just like this one a lot. I don't know what it is. I like it better than the 16.5 inch Cyclone. It's just, it's nice, all right? You got bullet velocity and range movement speed aim walking speed aim walking steadiness it's just this gun feels so clean it feels so nice to use when you throw this attachment on so that's why i have it and then we got the sl skeletal vertical grip for ads sprint to fire speed but you're also getting with those two gun kick control and vertical recoil control which is amazing the 5.56 nato high grain rounds for the ammunition for bullet velocity and range and then finally for the last attachment it's going to be the rb rapid strike grip for sprint to fire and ads you're getting 8 ads and 19 sprint to fire it's actually really nice so this class for the mcw 
in my opinion, is probably the best MCW class you're gonna touch. Guys, these are the top five weapons. If you enjoyed the video, like I said at the beginning, if you guys could drop a like and subscribe to the channel, I would truly appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.